Yeah. Alexa. Yeah. Stop. Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a short one, but I feel like it is necessary because at the moment people are doing their home workouts and training like absolute lunatics. So please stop training at home like this. Stop doing these as well because it is literally bananas. I'm sorry, that, that joke was literally awful. So don't be training like that. As you can see, I look a clown. It might make you laugh, it might not, have, who cares? But what I'm getting at is when you're training, doing these exercises, not only do you look like a clown, but you should be documenting your workout. So you should be logging down what you did in your workout. When you're logging your workout for your home workouts, you don't want to be locking your workouts with, I did 15 reps with a microwave, I did 20 reps with a toaster. This literally sounds stupid me talking about this, but it's true, like people are doing stuff like this, which is literally ridiculous. So my advice would be, instead of doing this, get yourself a backpack. A lot of people have got a backpack, and if you don't, then get one. And what you can do is, instead of just placing random objects in your backpack and doing the exercises, what you can do, go to the shop, buy, 10 kilograms of rice, put that in your backpack, then you know you've got 10 kilograms of resistance. You then can track your workouts. So if you could do four sets of 10 with a push-up, and then you add resistance with a 10 kilograms of rice in a backpack, you're doing 10 kilograms then of a weighted push-up. So then you can progress, that's, that's progressive overload. But that, that's the point I wanted to get across, like stop doing stupid exercises, focus on your compound movements, and if you want to add resistance, then do what I've just spoke about. But that there are ways like how you can make exercises harder without resistance. So if you watch my last video I uploaded, which was the full body workout with no equipment whatsoever, I'll put the link in the description. If you skip towards the end of the video, actually no, watch the whole video because you might learn something. But at the end of the video, I go over what you can do to make exercises harder. I, I think I listed like five or six points. But yeah, the main point I'm trying to get across today is stop doing these exercises with random objects on your body and you know, you, you might break something. You, you know what I mean? Like, not only do you like a tool and it doesn't mean anything, but you might break something. But what would you do if like your mum said like, <laughs> If your mum said to you, how long are you going to be with that kettle? And you're like... Last set! Oh, last set, last set, mum. It's stupid, isn't it? Like, it is literally stupid. So yeah, stop doing random exercises with random objects. And if you are going to add resistance, then my recommendation on backpack and just some like weighted rice so like 10 kilograms of rice stick that in there and, and you can document that then um the other thing was just to obviously lock your workouts track them like just because you're not in the gym doesn't mean you throw everything out the window and you just train like a lunatic and just doing whatever you still need structure and you and you're training so as promised it wasn't a long video just short and sweet straight to the point hopefully now 
I won't see as many crazy stupid workouts that people are doing and people can train a bit more smarter. So that is it. That is the end of the video. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. I hope this video helped people. I hope you learned something from the video. If you didn't, I hope you at least found it entertaining. But that's all from me. I'll see you all on the next video.